She's so fine. Hell on hell of her blows my mind. Hell of her hell of her lights my day. What's good, guys? This story came out yesterday, was updated today, this evening. It's coming out of Del Mar, Delaware, and I want to thank Marie722 for sending it to me. Officer assaulted in Del Mar taken to shock trauma. Man arrested. A police officer suffered significant head injuries while responding to a call in Del Mar, in which a senior couple was also injured, according to Delaware State Police. All of the victims suffered what police call extensive injuries. State police said Delmar Police Corporal Keith Hecook, the first to arrive around 5.12 a.m. Sunday at a house in the 11,000 block of Buckingham Drive for a fight in progress. A 911 caller reported that one of the residents, identified as Brandon Wilkerson, was fighting with other residents of the house. Moments later, police said they received a second 911 call from a house across the street, where Wilkerson is accused of using a glass object to assault a 73-year-old man and his 76-year-old wife. Both victims suffered significant injuries and were taken to hospitals. The woman was later taken to shock trauma in Baltimore. Hecook arrived at the scene of the first 911 call and got into a physical altercation with Wilkerson inside the house, police said. When dispatchers began checking on Hecook and received no response, other officers arrived at the house and found Hecook unconscious. Hecook was taken to Tidal Health in Salisbury before he was taken to shock trauma in Baltimore with significant head injuries, police said. Quote, Corporal Keith Hecook is a 22-year veteran and has been employed with our department since 1998, Delmar Police Chief Ivan Barkley said in a statement. He is a husband, son, brother, and father. Keith is fighting for his life right now and he needs your prayers along with the elderly couple who were also injured. Members from the Del Mar Police appreciate the outpouring of community support as we continue to move forward. We appreciate the support from the Delaware State Police, Wicomico County Sheriff's Office, Maryland State Police, and all other agencies who responded and are assisting with the investigation, end quote. Police said officers found Wilkerson walking behind the house where the initial 911 call originated and he was taken into custody without incident. Wilkerson, 30, was charged with first-degree attempted murder, two counts of first-degree assault, two counts of possession of a deadly weapon during the commission of a felony, first-degree burglary, third-degree assault, and terroristic threatening, police said. Hours after the assault, hundreds in the tight-knit community gathered for a vigil. Some who witnessed what happened said they will never forget what they saw. Quote, I saw an attack on a police officer. I saw an attack on humanity by the most vicious of all people that I have ever seen in my entire life, said Doug Marshall. This is not only affects that police officer, it affects that entire family. It affects every one of us that saw that today, end quote. Wilkerson was arraigned and committed to the Sussex Correctional Institution on a $451,000 bond. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and play the video that goes with this story now. A police corporal is fighting for his life this morning after he was assaulted while responding to a call. That attack happening on Sunday morning on Buckingham Drive in Del Mar, Sussex County. That's on the Delaware, Maryland border. Police have identified the suspect as 30-year-old Randon Wilkerson and took him into custody. Joe Holden has more on the story. A prayer vigil Sunday night for a Delaware police corporal in grave condition. Keith Hecook sustained massive injuries to his head. The exact circumstances of what happened to the 22-year veteran Del Mar police corporal early Sunday morning remain a mystery. It was 5 a.m. and Corporal Hecook responded to a call for a fight in progress inside a home. At this point, the investigation is unclear what transpired inside the residence. But we do know the officer was involved in some sort of physical altercation. The dispatchers began checking on the officer and received no response. Delmar's police chief says backup officers found Corporal Hecook unconscious with apparent injuries to his head. He was rushed by ambulance to a Baltimore trauma center. Police also say an elderly couple across the street from where officers initially were called were also badly beaten. It is unclear if that attack was targeted or random.
The police chief says what happened to one of their own Sunday morning is once again a reminder of how dangerous the job can be. Keith is a father, husband, brother, son. This is not the call you want on a Sunday morning. I ask that you have Keith and everybody here in your prayers. This is not easy. Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And investigators say the suspect, Wilkerson, also struck a 76-year-old woman and a 73-year-old man with a glass object numerous times. Wilkerson is now facing several charges. That's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, not only for the police officer, but also for the elderly couple. Um, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda. I hate that he responded by himself to the residents. Um, I'm sure that the other officers who were listening to the radio traffic were, um, traumatized, I would say, when he didn't answer back. And then not only traumatized by that, but traumatized by what they saw on the scene. I'm going to end this story on that note, but thanks for watching, guys.